Good morning, good morning, good morning. How's everybody doing this morning? It's actually kind of nice here this morning. It's a little um, foggy, kind of a little rainy, a little drizzly, but not too bad. I think it's like 40 something degrees, not too bad. I'm still gonna bundle up when I go out for my run. What I thought I would do this live before I went out and did that. <sighs> so how's everybody doing? How's the challenge going? We're almost done. Just a few more days left. And like I said today, Monday, I'm opening up. Um, oh, I'm getting rained on. <laughs> I'm opening up uh, the group coaching Lovolution starts today so if you're interested in joining the group coaching program reach out to me today so we can continue on doing this love illusion continue on oh thank you for the hearts Jess good morning how are you so we can continue doing this and not just end at day 28 continue going on making yourself priority number one making yourself first doing that self-love, that self-care, the self-worthiness, because you all are worthy of it. All are worthy of it. Each and every one of you. We're all worthy of it. We all deserve to be happy. We all deserve to be loved. But we need to start it in here first. It starts with us first, inside here first. So yesterday's challenge was <sighs> what are some of the things that we do that are bad for us, but that we do them anyways? We do them anyways. Why do we put our through, through, ourselves through that torture? Why do we do that? Well, it's because of our subconscious beliefs. It's because of what we've told ourselves over and over again. It's what our mind keeps reminding us about over and over again. Good morning, Holly. How are you? When you've constantly reminded yourself over and over and over about certain things, those beliefs that you've had, those habits, those stories, when you continue them over and over and over again, your subconscious is going to remind you every single time. It's going to come up. Sabotaging beliefs are going to hit. Triggers are going to come up. You're going to hit a wall. The universe is going to knock you on your ass. And you're going to think, I thought I did this work. But no, you got to keep on going and keep on going and keep on going. You have to change. You have to change to grow. You have to change to evolve. You have to keep going with this. It can't just stop at day 28 or day 37 or day 356. You got to keep going. It's a constant, constant change. Constant, constant. So, when we do these things that make ourselves, we, we bully ourselves, we put ourselves down, we, we tell ourselves we're worthless and we're horrible and I can't believe that these things are coming up again and it's going on and on and on and on, around and around and around in your head. And they'll continue to go on and on and on and around in your head until you fix them, until you deal with them, until you stare them straight in the face and take care of the shit and get it done. You're gonna keep coming up, keep coming up, keep coming up, keep coming up until you deal with it, until you make that change. So today's challenge is how can you, what does your support system look like in your life? Do you have a support system? How can you make it better? What does your support system look like? What is it that in your life, do you have people in your life that support you? Do you have people in your life that love you? Do you have people in your life that if something came up, they would drop everything and be there for you? No ifs, ands, or buts. Or do you have people that are in your life that are only in it for themselves? Only want to know for me. Or, well, if I do this for you, will you do this for me? Or, no, I can't do that. But you can do this for me. Do you have those toxic people? I call them toxic people. They are. 
to have those energy vampires in your space that just suck the life out of you all the time. Those are the people that you need to eliminate, unfortunately. You need to eliminate them, even if they're family members. I've had to do it time and time again. I've had to eliminate so many family members out of my life because they weren't a strong supporting system for me. They were not beneficial for me. It was a complete disservice to my needs, my wants, my desires. It was always what they wanted, when they wanted, how they wanted. And I was always there for them. I'd, they'd fall, I'd pick them up, they'd walk all over me, I'd, they'd fall, I'd pick them up, they'd walk all over me. This is just, it went on and on and on until I finally said enough is enough. And my self comes first, I come first, I'm priority number one, I need to make this shit change. Nobody else can do it for me. But I also needed support. I needed in my corner, in my, my world, to help me, to support me, to get me through to the next phase in my life, to get me through to the next chapter in my life. I needed that support system. All of us need that. And I know some of you are afraid to ask for support and I know some of you are afraid to step out of your comfort zone and I know some of you are just thinking in the back of your mind, I'm not worthy of that. I'm not worthy of the support. I'm not worthy of, of having that loving, caring people in my corner. Because you've been reminding yourself that over and over and over again. It's time to step up to the plate. It's time to make stuff happen for yourself. Do you really want to keep going on and around with this stuff by yourself, on your own? No, you can't do this shit on your own. I don't know how many times I say this. You can't do this on your own. You need to have that support system. You need to have those people in your life, in, that, in your corner. You are worthy of it. You do deserve it. It doesn't matter. All the excuses that you keep coming up with are just excuses to not move forward, to not make yourself a better person. They're all excuses. I know this because I've been there. I've done that. Excuse after excuse after excuse. Do you really want to make stuff happen for yourself or do you want to just sit on the sidelines for the rest of your life? The mundane life. Maybe maybe making some change here and there, maybe making some change there and here, but never fully, truly, madly, deeply loving yourself and caring about yourself and caring about your needs, and your wants, your desires, changing those habits, changing those stories, changing those limiting beliefs that you've been holding on to for so long. Do you really want to keep those going for yourself? No, you don't. So how can you create a support system in your life? How can you do that? By reaching out to people who know how to support you and know how to care for you and know how to get you to the other side. So. I love you all, and I hope you have a fantastic, beautiful day. And as always, I hear you, I see you, and I am here for you. I love all of you very much. I have so much love for this group, so much. Sorry, there was a bunch of birds. Ooh, hi! Ow! Oh, big birds. I don't know if you heard that, but they were huge birds. Um, yeah, make it a beautiful day, and we'll see you tomorrow.